In this video, I'm going to show you a Trips Tight End passing adjustment to help defend one of the best formations in Madden 22. Now, if you are new to the channel, I just want to ask you to go ahead and to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that I release every single day here on the channel. Now, today we're going to be taking a look at the nickel 335 wide, primarily in how we can apply some concepts um, to it against the uh, trips tight end formation. If you want to get my full 335 wide ebook, I actually just put out a one hour and 15 minute update to it. Uh, in addition, of course, to all the content that is uh, available over in our Patreon. The cool part about joining our Patreon is you not only get all the updates to all the ebooks, um, but you'll get every ebook as well. So you've got 18 offensive and defensive guides over there. Um, you get all the updates as long as your membership's active. The cool part too is that you get any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. And it's only $10 a month to be able to unlock all of that stuff. And I'm telling you, the, the new update to the 335 wide um, is really, really good. And it's just the tip of the iceberg. We're going to be kind of diving deep into coverage in Madden and how we can actually understand what's going on, how we can learn how to apply that. Um, to certain situations, certain formations, some of the basic principles of everything. So I'm really excited about that. So if you want to learn all of that, again, there's a link in the description that you can click on and you can go join the Patreon membership. Audible-wise, you can honestly do anything with this. We're going to teach today out of the Mike Blitz 3, but you could certainly do this out of Cover 3 Buzz. You could honestly do this. This concept really does apply to about every single concept except for Cover 4, um, because Cover 4 already has some principles built in that you can't really mess with. Um, this one Sam Strong Safety Blitz is a great uh, example, but I'm going to be utilizing Mike Blitz 3 for today's tutorial. And remember that when we're talking about 3-5 through five wide, I like to use 4-6 playbook and come out in 3-5 three, three, normal because I can put safeties in at the linebacker position. And what's really cool about that is it also allows me to have good adjustments that I can use for those linebackers uh, in those situations. So we're going to audible to Mike Blitz 3 is our first step. And our second step is we're going to talk about an adjustment that um, I've talked about before on the channel, but it's really, really important. So if you think about trips tied in in general, the, the two major things that you're going to have to worry about are really the, uh, the slots. The tight end and the inside slot on the right side or the left side of the screen. The way that we can basically kind of quote unquote cancel out that slot receiver on the left side is by taking this backside safety here and putting him in an inside quarter. What you're going to notice is that what's going to happen is he's going to basically um, guard that inside slot wherever he goes. You see that how he matches him and is going to be able to go guard the crossing route. Now right there he did bump into the tight end but I'll show you that one more time. So he'll be able to guard the crossing route. He'll also be able to guard um, the corner routes that they're going to run to that receiver as well. So I'll show it to you again. Here you see, runs into him, but you see he's kind of in that area and he's going to make that a, th a difficult throw. Now, if you're having any kind of problem with him running into the tight end, just move him inside. So you see how I just moved him inside just like that. And then what you'll see here, and we'll just put the linebackers in zones. But what you'll see is now he'll be able to cover all the way across the field with that player. So you see that? Very, very good little adjustment for trips tight end. Probably the, one of the most underrated adjustments uh, for this formation. Okay? So that's kind of part A. All right? Part A. And what this does is it takes away, like I said, it takes away this other concept as well, which could be something like this. You've probably seen, if someone's running trip side in on you, they've probably ran something like this. You see you get a bracketed coverage on that player right there, and it does typically a really good job against corner routes. Now, you can also, if you want to, do the inside quarter to this guy right here, and I'll show you what that looks like. It's gonna basically cause the same essential adjustment. So you see here, if I try to throw the corner, he's right in the area to make the play. So you can do it to either either side. I actually like to do it to the inside quarter on the back side of the formation. And the main reason why is because it allows me to get a plus one advantage to the left and I can have more adjustments uh, back side. So what we're gonna do, that's kind of part A. We're gonna inside quarter this guy so we know that the number three receiver is not gonna be in a great position to get open 
in this in this uh, in this defense. The next thing that we're going to uh, do from a coverage perspective uh, that I like to do is I love to play uh, cover two to the left, but the big problem is that that number one receiver can be a pest uh, if you're running a cover two coverage because of the fade out of PA counter goes. So if I were to just do something like this, I'll show you real quick. Play arts glitched, but if you see here, so if I were to just do something like this, and they go to PA counter go, but they go to this setup right here. What you'll see is this fade on the left glitches that cloud, and as you see, it gets wide open. So that's where my hesitancy to run cover two comes in. But what you can do um, with this defense and that I like to do anyway is what we want to do is we want to force them, honestly, think about trips tight end. We really want to force them to have to beat us with the number two receiver in the formation, Scotty Miller, and beat us with the number, with the running back. Those are their two worst players, typically, and those are the players we want to force them to have to beat us with. So with the linebackers, as far as what can we do on the back side of this, what we can easily do with this guy right here, um, Jackson, is, again, and again, you have – you know, some decisions to make. But what I like to do with him is a man-to-man -man on the tight end. I love to man this guy up on the tight end. It will not always defend the tight end post, but it does help a little bit, and it tightens the window up on the tight end post route. Um, if you wanted to, you could uh, inside quarter or outside quarter him. Let me show you why you might want to do that. So let's say we get a, a concept that looks like this. If you look at the tight end, you're going to see that that outside corner will guard the tight end fairly decently. The problem, however, is this. Um, the number one thing they're going to do with that tight end is they're going to run a uh, post route to him. Almost every single time, that is probably the number one concept. So if you take a look here this cross, you see that he is wide open. That outside corner doesn't go with him. And now that's the problem route that you got to deal with. And that's what they're going to go to once they realize that you're running this, this concept. So what I like to do with that is I like to just say, okay, we're just going to man the tight end up. And then and then we're also going to man up the slot on the left side, that number two receiver. So you see how we've created this little coverage here. And then what we can do with the number one corner is we can outside quarter him. And I'll show you why that's a good adjustment in a second. And then we're just going to do two purples to the, deep, to the linebackers. And then I like to do a three rec to one of the defensive linemen. So you see this is what the coverage looks like right here. Now, I want to show you what happens with this with this number one receiver. So we have him in an outside quarter. So we're going to run a skinny post like this. Watch the circle receiver. You'll notice that he gets matched. And there's a third right there. That makes it a very difficult throw over the top. Okay? So if we take a look at this replay, this is the concept that I think the actual main concept that will give this defense some trouble. But because we outside quarter him you're going to see that he's going to actually match him across. The tight end is getting matched as well. Now, if I was usering in this example, I would want to make sure that my user um, is going to be shadowing that tight end underneath to kind of help with that. That's called cone coverage, where you're basically having someone over the top and underneath the cover or the route. But you see everything else here looks really, really good. Everything else about the coverage Looks really, really, really good, okay? So let me walk you through those adjustments one more time. So again, it's Mike Blitz 3. We're going to purple both of our linebackers, 3 wreck this guy. Then most importantly, we're going to uh, outside quarter and inside quarter. So we're going to inside quarter the safety that is on the tight inside, outside quarter the corner that is on the left side, okay? You don't want to call cover for show 2, and the reason why is because that will take this guy and make him much less effective. Okay, we're still basically playing quarters coverage, if you think about it. And then we've got the uh, man coverage on triangle and the man coverage on the tight end. Now, the man coverage on the tight end is optional. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Okay, If you don't want to have man coverage on the tight end, you don't have to. I really think you should have man coverage on that number two because what you're going to get, if they start to really figure out what you're doing, if they're smart, what they'll do is they'll do something like this with a, a corner route, um, and then a streak, and then you'll get something like like this, if you will. And the reason they would do that is because now what they're going to try to do is they're going to try to hit you right there, okay? And that's important. 
Now, if you get a two by two check, so like if they motion, um, if they motion across the formation like that, that's a little bit of a different formation that you're defending now. You're defending gun doubles, right? So you do need to pay attention a little bit to the motion out of trips tied in because it will change. So like let's say you've got this adjustment and then all of a sudden they decide they're gonna motion uh, across. My recommendation, okay, my recommendation, let's say they do that. So let's say you get a, um, a slant, a flat, and a streak. If they do that where they motion across, my advice would be to audible back to Mike Blitz 3 and then just zone the linebackers and blitz your user. So Mike Blitz 3, zone the linebackers, blitz my user. Now we have cover 3 match. And what you'll see here is this play is really, really good against those sets. Okay? So you could easily do something like that. Another thing I really like to do if I'm really in a situation where they're going to motion a lot is I'll audible to cover 4 show 2 as well. So because I know the rules are a little bit better uh, from the from that coverage. So let's say, you know, let's say again they set this route combo up, and they're going to try to attack you with something like this, okay? And they're going to motion, and you set everything up. You get that motion. I'm going to check to cover four show two, shade coverage up, and man up on the uh, the the cross the cross guy. And then now you see here you've got a cross man. You're working that crosser, and you can play pretty de decent defense. The, the, the trips defense is different than doubles defense. You have to understand it's different based on the situation. So this right here that we're showing you, these quarter assignments, you can do anything you want outside of that. So um, let's say you get to here and then you want to, maybe you don't want to do some of the man up adjustments. That's fine. You don't have to. Um, you could certainly leave this guy. I wouldn't leave this guy in an outside third. I would put him in a cloud flat and then I would put this guy in a vert hook. And then you could have two vert hooks and a purple. And now this is a very, very, very good coverage. You see, this is something simple we can create. Now, if they were to run, um, you know, something like something like this concept right here, uh, I want you to look to the left side. You have to pay a little bit of attention, but that seam flat uh, should carry that all the way up. As you see right there, he did break off just a little bit. Um, so if you wanted to put that into a cloud, you could. Um, but anyways, that's basically the defense. And it's pretty much the big keys are the outside quarter, inside quarter. From there, you can adapt it however you want to. If you just want to man up the, the cross man the tight end and cross man the slot, that's fine. You can do something like this. This is not a bad coverage at all. I would recommend go ahead and uh, vertical hook or something over there with a cloud and maybe not even worry about that number two receiver, okay? The number two receiver is certainly not the biggest threat from this formation. It Really, it's probably the last option a lot of the times, okay? So that is the defensive concept that I would recommend against trip side in, or at least some pretty cool little adjustments you can do out of it to kind of build off of it. It really does a good job um, against this this um, against this skinny post. Let me show you one more thing with this. So if we got the inside quarter, let's say they're going to go to the trips tight end bomb, which is the skinny post. So obviously you can go back and use it, of course. Um, but I want to show this real quick. What you'll notice with this coverage is because you've manned up triangle, that right there is a bang bang play. It's real tight, and a lot of times the coverage will just cover it. Um, and then of course your user is in the area; he can go guard that easily. Okay, so that's the defense from Mike Woods three that you can use against trips tight end. If you want to learn more about nickel three three five wide, or if you want to get better at the game, join the Patreon. There's a link in the description below. Fifteen bucks or ten dollars a month. I'm sorry. And you get everything, um, all of the ebooks, all of the updates to the ebooks, and all of the new ebooks, uh, as long as your membership is active. So I'd really encourage you to sign up for it. Again, there's a link in the description below to sign up. So head on down to the description if you're interested and click the link and you can go join the Patreon membership and learn everything.